<clears throat> oh God, come to my aid. Oh Lord, hasten to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are greatly exalted, you are clothed with praise and majesty, wrapping yourself in light for a garment, stretching out the sky like a skin, who compasses up the rooms with water, who makes clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes spirits his angels and his servants a flame of fire, who poises the earth on its axis, it will not be moved throughout the ages, the deep like a garment is its clothing, on the mountains the waters stand, at your rebuke they run, at the crack of your thunder they are afraid. Mountains rise up and plains sink down to the place which you have appointed for them. You have set a bound the waters will not pass, so they will never return to cover the earth. You send torrents in the ravines, the waters run between the mountains. They give drink to all the beasts of the field, while donkeys wait to quench their thirst. The birds of the sky perch on them, from among the rocks they pipe their calls. You water the mountains from above, the earth is filled with the fruits of your works. You make grass spring up for the cattle, and vegetation for the service of humankind, for them to produce food from the earth, and wine which cheers the human heart. That our faces may be bright with oil, and that bread may strengthen our hearts. The trees of the plain will be drenched, the cedars of Lebanon on which you planted. There the sparrows build their nests, the house of the heaven at the top of them. The high mountains are for the deer, a rock is a refuge for hares. You made the moon to mark the months, the sun knows his going down. You appoint darkness and it becomes night, in which all the wild beasts of the forest prowl. Young lions roaring to seize their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun rises and they gather together and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their business until the evening. How great are your works, O Lord! You have made all things in wisdom. The earth is filled with your creation. This is the great and wide sea. There live reptiles without number, living creatures, small and great. There ships go to and fro, there too is that sea serpent which you have made to play in it. All look expectantly to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, all things are filled with goodness. But when you turn away your face, they are troubled. You will take their spirits and they will die, and they will return to their dust. You will send your spirit, and they will be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord delights in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as all my life. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. May my conversation be pleasing to him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. May sinners vanish from the earth, and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The devil plows our soul with trials, but the Christ sows the word of life in our hearts. The devil plows our soul with trials, but the Christ sows the word of life in our hearts. I will lift you on high, my God and my King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to 
this greatness there is no limit. Generation after generation will praise your word, and they will declare your power. They will talk of the magnificence of the glory of your holiness, and they will declare your wonders, and they will tell terrible tales of your power, and will declare your greatness. They will spread the memory of your great goodness and will rejoice in your justice and righteousness. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, most patient and most merciful. The Lord is good and kind to all, and his compassion is over all his works. Let all your works praise you, O Lord, and let your saints bless you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom, and they will talk of your power, to make known your power to all people, and the glory of the magnificence of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom of all the ages, and your sovereign rule is in all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his works, and holy in all his works. The Lord upholds all who are falling, and he straightens all who are bent down. The eyes of all look to you with hope, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hands and fill every living thing with delight and goodwill. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him to all who call on him in truth. He will do the will of those who fear him, and he will hear their prayer, and he will save them. The Lord guards all who love him, but all the sinners he will destroy. My mouth will tell the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The devil plows our soul with trials, but the Christ sows the word of life in our hearts. So to keep the word of God in their hearts, bring forth fruit with endurance. Oh, to keep the word of God in their hearts, bring forth fruit with endurance. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, I will praise the Lord all oh my life. I will sing psalms to my God as long as I live. Do not trust in rulers in any human part in whom there is no salvation. Their spirit goes out and they return to the earth. On that day all their thoughts and projects perish. Blessed are they whose helper is the God of Jacob, 
whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all the things in them, who keeps his promise forever, who does justice for those who are wronged, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord releases prisoners, the Lord makes wise the blind, the Lord straightens those who are bent down. The Lord loves the righteous, the Lord guards the converts, he supports the orphan and the widow. But the way of sinners he will destroy, the Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who keep the word of God in their hearts bring forth fruits with endurance. Mary keeps the celestial words in her heart. She who brought forth without seed the body of the Word. Mary keeps the celestial words in her heart. She who brought forth without seed the body of the Word. Praise the Lord for singing psalms is good. May our praise delight our God. The Lord is building Jerusalem, and he will gather the dispersed of Israel. He heals those who are brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the multitudes of the stars and he calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his strength, and his understanding is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the meek, but he humbles sinners to the ground. Begin with confession to the Lord, Sing with a harp to our God, who clothes the sky with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass spring up on the mountains, and vegetation for the service of humankind, who gives their food to the animals and to the young ravens that call upon him. He takes no pleasure in the strength of a horse, nor delights in a person blessed. The Lord delights in those who fear him, and in all who hope for his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He makes peace in your borders and fills you with the best of wheat. He sends his command to the earth his word runs very swiftly. He gives no like wool. He sprinkles drops like ashes. He hurls his hair like crumbs. Who will stand against his cold? 
He spends his word and melts ice and snow. He blows his wind and the waters flow. He makes known his word to Jacob. His requirements and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt like this with every nation. And he has not made his judgments clear to them. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning and now and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Mary keeps the celestial words in her heart. She who brought forth without seed the body of the world. The seed is the word of God. The sower is Christ. Alleluia. The seed is the word of God. The sower is Christ. Alleluia. The forty days of Lent are approaching. Like the prodigal son, let us quick go with haste to our father's house. May the catechumens open their souls to divine teaching. And may the faithful rebaptize themselves in tears of repentance. The divine sower sows abundantly. In our hearts, let us keep his seed safe from the devil. The time of trial having come, let us be so grounded in him that we may keep his word with joy. The cares, riches, and pleasures of life choke the seed. Let us cultivate our garden with perseverance. Cause your mysteries to be heard in the silence of our soul. That with your word we may sow the fruit of your spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning and now and evermore and to the ages of ages amen the seed is the word of god the sower is christ alleluia Let my cry come to you, O Lord. Alleluia. Grant me understanding according to your promise. Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Book of Wisdom, the Book of Proverbs. My son, if you receive the words of my commandment and hide them within yourself, your ear will be obedient to wisdom and you will incline your heart to understanding. You will entrust it to your son as an admonition. For if he calls upon wisdom and you utter your voice for understanding, if you seek perception with a strong voice, if you seek her as silver and search for her as treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his face come knowledge and understanding and he stores up salvation for the upright. 
he will protect their journey. That he might guard the ways of his ordinances, and he will carefully guard the way of those who reverence him. Then you will understand righteousness and judgment, and accomplish successfully every good path for yourself. And you, O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are greatly exalted. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are greatly exalted. He is clothed with praise and majesty, wrapping himself with light as a garment. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are greatly exalted. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are greatly exalted. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are greatly exalted. <clears throat> Ale
this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our ancestors, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. O Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not scorn the work of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due a song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. my prayer arise before you like incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be a living sacrifice. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be a living sacrifice. O Lord, I cry to you, hear me, attend to the voice of my prayer when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let the God, O Lord, open my mouth, and a door of enclosure and protection around my lips. Do not incline my heart to evil words, to make excuses for my sin. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let my prayer arise, before you like incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be a living sacrifice.
Let us exalt the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. You saw that I find word in my soul, O eternal word. You plant yourself in my soul, who were born of the Virgin without speed. You saw yourself in the earth by your body and in the abyss of death by your soul, in order to resurrect the world. O soul, O oh, oh, seed, O oh, word, grant that we may bear the fruit of repentance in the hope of your resurrection. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly handmaid. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceits. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning and now and evermore, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You saw the divine word in my soul, O eternal word. You plant yourself in my soul, who were born of the virgin without seed. You saw yourself in the earth by your body, and in the abyss of death by your soul, in order to resurrect the world. O soul, O oh seed, O oh word, grant that we may bear the fruit of repentance in the hope of resurrection. Adios, O Theos, Aios Ispiros, Aios Athanatos, Eleis Donimas, Sanctus Deus, Sanctus Fortis, Sanctus Immortalis, Miserere Nobis, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, according to your great mercy. We entreat you, hear us, and have mercy on us. For peace from on high, for peaceful times, for the Holy Church which reaches to the ends of the earth, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. For our Bishop Gregory, for Bishop Goraz and Bishop Jonas, for the bishops of our sister churches, Martin, Mark, Paul, Johann, Gabriel and Gregory, for all bishops, priests, and deacons, for the clergy and all the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. For 
of this church, this town, and our neighboring cities, and all who live here, for our country and all who govern it, especially for the handmaid of God, our sovereign lady Elizabeth, whose accession to the throne we recently commemorate, and all her royal house, her government, and her prime minister Boris, that God may grant them wisdom, so that we may live in peace and tranquility. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in civil authority, for monks, nuns, and virgins, for husbands, wives, and children, for single persons, widows, and orphans, and for all who toil and labour, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, the fertility of the fields, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for wholesome air, herb, water, and space, let us pray to the Lord. For penitents and catechumens, and in particular for the handmaid of God Maria, and the servant of God Bertrand, for those who search for God but cannot yet name him, and for those who do not seek him or who resist his grace, let us pray to the Lord. For those who confess the blessed name of Christ, for those who are persecuted and for their persecutors, for those who are in need of the great goodness of the Lord, Sam and Mark, and for those who travel and for their safe return, for the sick, and in particular for the servants and handmaids of God, Melanga, Thomas, the nun fear of Ia, Dimitri, the Presbytera, Helena, the priest, Gabriel, Jennifer, the abbot, Demetrius, Igor, Elizabeth, Abby, Setter, Paul, the Presbytera, Mary, Laura, Peter, Eileen, and the grieving handmaid of God, Sonia, for those who are tormented by sadness, anguish, loneliness, or impure spirits, let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord would grant us courage and wisdom, that we may act with prudence, and that we may bring about the ordering of our church, in a manner well pleasing to him, let us pray to the Lord. For our departed mothers, fathers, sisters and brothers, and in particular for the servants and handmaids of God, the deacon Maxime, the priest Thierry, the archbishop Vigil, the presbytera Rachel, Regina, Morris, Edith, Harold, Stella, Patrick, the nun Christiane, the priest Alphonse, and for the newly departed servants of God, Roger and Ellis, and the newly departed handmaid of God, Julie, and all who are here and everywhere laid to rest, let us pray to the Lord. For those who serve, sing, and distribute their goods by works of mercy in the Holy Church, let us pray to the Lord. May the Lord fill us with his grace, through the prayers of Our Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, of the Holy Archangel Michael and all the heavenly hosts, of the Holy Forerunner of Christ and Baptist John, of the Apostles, Martyrs and Confessors, of Saint Melanchthon of Paris, the Patroness of our Church, of the Holy Merberus, and of Saint Richard of Wessex, Saint Hall of London, Saint Tressa of Moray, Saint Meldon of Peron, 
Since Ronan of Kilmaronan, whose memorial we keep today, and of all the saints, grant this, O Lord. May the Lord grant us pardon of our sins, and a Christian and peaceful ending to our lives. Grant this, O Lord. May the Lord preserve us in the purity of the faith, and in the bonds of perfect charity. Grant this, O Lord. Let us say with all our heart and with all our spirit, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, as in heaven so on earth. Give us today our super substantial bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Save us from falling into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For to you belong the kingdom and the power and the glory to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord our God, allow us to taste the fruits of the Spirit, and by the same Spirit lead us into your kingdom, so that living in true freedom and bearing each other's burdens, we may give thanks to you with ardent love, O you who live and reign to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May it be implored to rose from the dead as the prayers of the most holy, pure, immaculate mother of God and ever Virgin Mary of Saint Melangus of Paris, of the Holy Merberus, of Saint Richard, Saint Ol, Saint Tressa, Saint Meldon, and Saint Ronan, whose memorial we keep today, and of all the saints, grant us this peace and eternal life. angelic life, you were proved as pleasing to God, O Melanger, for you abandoned your noble birth, royal riches, and honor, and came to the valley, becoming a mother to none. Rejoice, O root of Ireland, rejoice, O boast of the Celts, Rejoice, O Lamp of Britain, and the Pride of Wales. 